All right, I think we're going to do day 34 of this Singapore math. Um, we're on page 48 and 49. All right. The table shows a rate uh, at a park, or charges a rate at a parking lot. Okay, it charges $1 for every half hour, and after 5 p.m., it charges a different rate. It charges a dollar for every hour. So, hmm, I guess maybe you can kind of think of this as two dollars for every one hour and one dollar for every hour so it, it apparently it charges more during the middle of the day and then at the end of the day after everyone maybe has gone home from work and people park in parking lots much less because they're driving home um, they'll charge a dollar per hour mr. Carlson parked his car there for from 1 30 to 7 p.m. maybe he had a, a date or uh, met his wife for dinner or something like that um, how much money or how much did he have to pay okay so how long did he stay there between 1 30 so when he was there at 1 30 p.m. he was in this area right here so he was paying this rate we're talking about here and let's see is there a good place there we go when he was when he was there at 1 30 he was paying this rate right here so two dollars for every hour or a dollar for every half hour so he was there from 1 30 let's see two o'clock would be extra 30 minutes and then three o'clock four o'clock five o'clock so three and a half hours he was there paying this rate okay so that would be seven dollars total and then after 5 p.m., he stayed another two hours extra because he went from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. So he had $2 extra left over. So he had $7 that he paid plus an extra $2. His total amount that he had to fork out was $9 for that day of parking. Which is why Dad parks at Iolani Palace, which is only like a uh, dollar for every hour. Well, I say it like I'm, I'm saving all this money, but really, I mean... Not doing that much better than this guy. All right. The workers in a factory are paid at the following rates. $28 per day on the weekdays. $38 per day if I have to call you in and make you give up your Saturdays and Sundays. Um, one second, Griffin. Hold on. Mr. Henderson worked from Friday to Tuesday. How much was he paid? Okay. So... On Friday, he got paid $28. On Saturday, he got paid $38. On Sunday, he got paid another $38. On Monday, he got $28. And on Tuesday, he got $28. Okay. So, we can go... $28 for Friday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday... So this is $38, $38, 28, 28. I could just add all of these up. And actually, to be honest with you, I think that's the easiest way to do it. 28, 28, 28, 38, 38. This is 8 times 5, which is uh, 40. This is... Let's see, 10 or 5 plus another 5, which is 10, plus another 6, which is 16. He was given $160 for his thing, for his work over those uh, five days. Yeah, five days of work. Cool. All right. A table shows a postage rate of sending for sending magazines. To another state. Got it. If the weight step not over 20 grams and 50 grams and 100 grams. So I guess depending on the, the weight of the magazine itself, the postage changes. That makes sense. Find the postage for a magazine which weighs 85 grams. All right. So the rate that I probably would pay is 
It's bigger than 50, but it's less than 100, so I wouldn't get into this category. I would probably be in this category still. So it's 64. Six, or, uh, it's 40 cents per, well, thing. Let's see. So the postage for 80 gram, 85 grams is 40 cents. I would have to put 40 cents of stuff in there. Find the postage for a magazine weighing 330 grams. All right, this is uh, a little bit t tougher. We have the first 100 is going to cost me 70 grams, and then every 100 after that, that's going to cost me another 60 cents. So getting to 300, that would be 70 cents plus 60 cents, which would give me 200, plus another 60 cents, which give me 300 grams. So let's kind of keep that all this information totaled up. Um, I said 70 cents plus 60 cents plus 60 cents plus another. That gives me up to 300. I need to get to 330. So I think that I would pay this amount because I'm not over 50 yet. So it would be 0 0.3. Let's see. Is that right? No, I guess the way I'm reading this is wrong. I need to go another 100 grams because I'm 30 grams left over. So I guess another 60. So this would be 18 or 1.8 or 6 times 6 is 36. Oh no, no I, I'm adding this up. 1.8 1, 1. plus 0. 0.7. That would be 1. Um, which would be, let's see, this is 5, 1, so 2.5. So he would have to pay $2.50 for that postage. All right, I'm done with this thing because everyone else around me is messing around.